right, it's Gills, and we're back with more Satisfactory. So last time, we decreased our concrete production a little bit, because we are getting full on that. We built our space elevator, which looks awesome, and we built it perfectly positioned against that little cross arch thing, so we could look at it. We explored a bit. We found some sulfur down by the river over there. Um, and I think we basically... Oh, no, we unlocked the uh, next tech tier, I think. So... Um, yeah, part assembly. So we have the assembler, rotors, and modular frames. Which, because it's much more complicated and stuff now, we might need to be doing some uh, reworking of our production line. So we're going to have to look into that. Um, let's see, we were researching... Ah, the carapace, because we just learned stuff about fabrics. Which, were we able to make anything new fabric-wise? Nothing in there. Uh, doesn't look like it. Alright. But, the first thing I need to do is take a look at our production line for iron, because we are starting to get really iron limited. So we might want to actually expand and get a second iron source capped out. Let's see, is this a pure iron? Okay, that's good. Apparently there exist pure and impure iron sources, and the impure ones <clears throat> produce about half, whereas the pure ones produce much, much more. Yeah. That's actually good. We got all pure, so we have max production. But basically one pure iron source can hold, can power four smelters if I, or uh, supply four smelters. Is kind of crazy. That's 120 a minute. And these ones are absorbing 30 a minute. So yeah, this thing is backed up and not being used efficiently. So, we need to change that. Hmm. And the question is, do I want to disassemble this? Or... You know what, no, this is good, this is good, because we're producing, we're smelting, all of that is fine. I think we could just add another conveyor belt splitter, and then, fortunately these things split one to three, and we need a one to four split. So I think we need a splitter to split two ways, and then each of those two ways split two ways. The only thing I'm seeing is our storage units might be in a bad spot, and we might need to actually move them a bit. Um, hmm. So, let's first make sure we got all of our biofuel production stuff uh, powered up and whatnot. I'm going to hold off on the mycelium to uh, biofuel production stuff, because mycelium can... Ooh, I didn't know those had ladders on them. That's convenient. But uh, the mycelium also makes fabric, so I don't really want to use that purely as a fuel source. Also, holy crap. All right, we've got ourselves... Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Um, there we go. 300 stacks, or 400 stacks. Oh, these things max out at 200. Oh, we have now hit enough biofuel production that we max our generators. Although we are going to need to make some more generators if we hope to have more iron production. The nice thing is, what we can do is with the iron production, we can produce screws and the uh, reinforced iron plates using that extra side. So, let's start by getting some more generators down. There's the assembler, which takes two pieces in and creates one, so we can use two source things. Which way's the front? That seems to be the front, right? Yeah. Can we not stick another one up there? Hmm. Annoying. I 
So there's not a lot of uh, connectivity availability on these. There's we need so many power poles. Or is there a way to upgrade the power poles? No. Hmm. All right. Well, we need another burner. So we'll put it the first place it lets us. Oh, I can't afford it. That's why it's not letting me build it. I don't have enough wires and plates and things. That would do it. Let's get some cables, because we don't have any cables, because we put those away. Get a spool of wire. Let's get a stack of plates. And a stack of these. And we're going to need a stack of concrete. Cool. Cool. All right, now we actually have the materials to build these things. It'll probably let us build it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're seeing some valid spots up here. There we go. And we can fill this thing up with... 200 stack. Boom! Capacity is now increased. So we have enough power to power another factory or two. We might need another biomass burner for too long. So one thing I do want to do is we need a better storage thing for this. We definitely 100% need our biomass storage facility to be down here in front of the containers. So the question is, can we wrap our... conveyor belt around here? this. Encroaching clearance. And there's no way to connect the conveyor belt directly into these things. Hmm. Alright. How about if we made this even taller? Nope. Alright, that's too steep. So did I put this container backwards? I think I put this container backwards. That's fine. Maybe because I packed these conveyor belt or these uh, things in here a little too tightly, well, I'm having some issues. All right, so new plan. steep, but it's not having issues. Okay, so we'll take that apart and do that. Alright, we have a conveyor belt down now. Now we need another pole probably like here. Now we can have a storage unit. Yeah, 
I'll just put it down here, I guess. Did we? Damn it, I... No, I put it the correct way. Wait, can I just... Can I just click on it to change it? No. Boom. Okay. Now we have a conveyor belt that leads all the way down here, so that way we won't have to keep trying to jump up this hill to feed the power grid. Then... go. A few more segments than I'd like, and it's a really, really long conveyor belt, but it works. Maybe a little bit less steep curve there. Very appealing to the eyes. God, conveyor belts have a direction. At least we know they all connect. I never knew that conveyor belts were directional. I assumed they would figure out source to sync on their own, but no, you actually have to put them in the direction you want them things to travel. All right. Beautiful. Biomass production is now filtering down into here, so we have access to this area as a power plant. Now our armor research should be done, or whatever the plate things give us. We don't have anything else we can research. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense hmm. against the local wildlife. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Oh, well we don't have access to Tier 3 yet. So I guess we should start sending some stuff off. Alright. Need some more plates and some cables. Ah, production is going really nicely now. I need to just build a better storage warehouse. There we are. Oh, and apparently I picked up the Milestone entire... reached. To ensure optimal use of space, navigation, and tidiness, R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Nice. Alright, that gets us tier 2... Pretty much complete. I think we're just a little short. I'm gonna get rid of some of these trees and stuff that are right around base. So we have a little bit more breathing room. So I just put away my biofuel. <coughs> I think like five or so should be enough. See, the biofuel production is now working pretty damn smoothly. Gimme, 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 gimme. Alright, that's enough. Chainsaw time. Do we want to eat berry? Apparently we took some fall damage last time that I didn't take care of. Let's clear out some of the stuff in the way over here. Oh, we got so much more room to build now. I don't need to waste my uh, fuel on that. Put down some little 
trees. Clear out this group of trees here. Trees, apparently, not just bushes. All right, and let's get this area over here cleared off because this is where we're going to probably be building our new uh, iron processing area. That's a tree. And we have enough to get rid of this one. Oh. Now we're out of fuel. Alright. Oh, that's so much more room over here. Alright, oh, that's a tree. Bushes. Oh, there's some more trees I didn't get rid of. Ugh. Fine. Make some more biofuel real quick. Wasting it so I don't have to keep smashing the E button. And let's make sure we cut all the way back to the cliff side so we can kind of see what's going on over here. Kind of hard to do this at night. I can't really see what I'm doing for some of it. Oh, we're on full inventory. All right. I think that's good enough for the moment. Oh, look at everything beautifully continuously produ continuing to reduce. Ah, issue with this conveyor belt system. Yeah, it's fine. Shouldn't need to come over here too, too often. guys. And these ones. Perfect. Just dump my last of my fuel so I don't have to deal with the stack. There we go. Leaves go in here. Wood goes in here. Beautiful. Biomass production. Biofuel is going. We'll have plenty of power. Alright, let's go dump that sulfur that's sitting in my inventory because we can't do anything with that yet. Unless we have new research opportunities. No. Alright, so sulfur doesn't really have a use right now. All right. Let's see what we have for options. Let's get our berries done, so that way we can finish that entire tech tree. Launch the pod. 
All right, tier one, actively or entirely complete, beautiful. Parachute. Oh, I wonder if we get the parachute consumable. Slows down your fall when activated in midair. That's really expensive for a consumable. Maybe it's a permanent thing? Hmm. All right, well, we have most of what we need for it, so. Oh, wow, the uh, berry one didn't even take any time at all. All right. Well, let's just send that one off, because uh, that probably will end up saving our life, and it seems like something we could just kind of put, put on ourselves and then forget about, so that's good. All right. What does it take to make the parachute? Oh, it was expensive to do the milestone, but parachutes themselves are fairly cheap. Okay. Let's make, like, three of them. Oh, we get a five stack. All right, let's make two five stacks, because those are ridiculously cheap. Oh, good, we can equip the entire 10 stack. Nice. That is wonderful. Okay, now that we've got all of those going, is there anything else we can research? Maybe a better parachute or anything? Nope. We've, uh, we've done a lot of research. Wait, why is there two mycelia... Do we need to have more? Like, is it just not showing us the option because we don't have it in our inventory? No. We fully... Yeah, we realized they could be biofuel. We realized they could be fabric. There was some healing properties or something, but I don't remember what that was exactly about. All right. So, now we need to split off our iron to make a screw factory and a late factory. So, let us... Okay, that can't get any more ore input. That's fine. Alright, we need to make a splitter. splitter goes into that splitter and then we'll put another splitter right here and we can make two more smelters all right so we're gonna need a power pole for this set of smelters and Constructors. We're going to need two more power poles, actually. So let's get the smelters down first and then put the poles in from there. But those are nice and cheap. Figures the conveyor belt is too steep. All right. Um. Is it too steep if it lets me put that down there? Just fine. All right, whatever. There we 
go. Those are both now in the setup. Put a power pole here and a power pole here. Alright, connect this one to that one. Nope, nope, nope. go. That one. Need a new power line. Oh, no. Right here. There. And then this machine to that. This machine to that. That one's now full. Yeah, we are going to need to move these storage units. All right. We don't want to have to move them because that's going to be kind of a pain but it's in the way of progress now so let's make some storage units really wish these would snap side to side Kinda do. Oh, I need more plates. Oh, well, that's not even close to where it needs to be. Okay, so apparently these overlays can overlap a lot more than you think. Eventually. You know, this isn't nearly far enough over. Why don't we just make them way the hell over here? And let's make it pretty. So let's get some foundations. Uh, we want the two meter high ones. Hey, it gives us a use for all that concrete, that's for sure. pod. Storage. Now, does this thing allow me some more snap points, maybe? Yeah, it snaps to the foundations a little bit. that one just build. Oh. Alright, there we go. Then we can put some more storage here, and then we can feed these things into the, uh, is too steep. How the f- It's a foundation! Okay, do we need another foundation under the other one? Because it's, you know, you can't have things hanging out. Are you happy now? It's not like I care about wasting the concrete, because we got so much of it. Oh 
my god, they were hanging off the edge. Ah. More foundations, then. Push these back a little bit. There's so much storage. Is that the right way? Yeah. Orange is in. So I should probably do this from the other side so I can make sure it doesn't hang off. What I want to do is be able to have two rows of the storage, so that way we, all we have to do is just run a conveyor belt and that will uh, add the storage for us. Nope, that one didn't line up. So close. There we go. Now that looks ugly not being part of the correct conveyor belt system. So let's do... These things directional too? No, I want it snapped to the back. Oh right, because we had to build this to the side, right. Because of the clearance issue. I not have oh I'm out of concrete I do like the fact that that gives me a nice lineup thing and then that not the prettiest conveyor belt I put it backwards Wow, we had 900 biofuel in there. Speaking of which, it's probably about time to fill everything back up. Oh, wow, no, this biofuel lasts some time. All right. It is good, and we are well below our production threshold. All right. Go. 
that gets stored into there. just to have this stuff. All right, let me set up all of the pillars here. I'm so glad they have that nice little green line that let me lets me know when it's lined up. We just need to make a nice system of towers that takes the products from over here and sends them that way. <laughs> Seventeen hundred cables. Oh, wow. All right. Um. So I'm going to want another row of smelters here, so bear belt tower like here. And can we loop this one to that one? There we go. And then we'll do another tower like here, this side, that one. Oh, shit, wrong one. Still walk under that one just fine. I'll just let that clear itself off. Here. Trying to just kind of smooth off the curve a little bit so it looks nicer. Oh, okay, the bottom of the conveyor belt should look like it's coming back, because that's how conveyor belts work. They wrap, yeah. And the top of the conveyor belt is going forward. Trying to make this look nice and to maximize my space. Boom. Okay. Now we can 
store these things in the correct containers so that way we don't have a ton of junk items in our inventory. Actually, I have plenty of room for the wire in here. Perfect. Ew, why do you look like that? Hold on. Ugh. weird little bend in it. Alright, cool. That's a lot of cable. I think I almost have room for it all. Just have to manually transfer it this time. 1,800 cable, jeez. Yeah, we're good on uh, all of these byproducts. Can't imagine what the copper one has in it. Twenty eight hundred. Oh wow. Oh, but they're much smaller stacks, so that's actually fine. What about the concrete one? That one's full. Alright. We'll create a new system over here. I love how getting getting this organized. I do apologize if it's a bit uh, boring to see the organizational side of things, but I like it. I didn't really plan out this fully, but then I didn't, I didn't have the ability to clear out the trees over here, so I didn't really have as much option to do so. can do is while I'm waiting on this stuff, I can set that up so that way it just starts hauling stuff out of there for me while I'm getting the, the input pipes or the input uh, conveyor belt set up. So nice not to have our issues with the uh, Issues with the, uh, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, fuel. I don't have to worry about fuel sourcing anymore and uh, getting that all working out. So that works out nicely. We'll put another pole right here. That belt can feed right there. Well, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. That did not take very long to uh, organize. All right, well, actually, this conveyor system, I'm going to need to put a second uh, container here because we're already full on that, so... Uh... will be a good test. Okay, good. My system with the pole there works out perfectly. Oh, I'm missing some iron plates. Yeah, there's a lot of conveyor belt being built. I guess we do need quite a bit of uh, plating.
we go. And that'll fill up the back one, and then when the back one's full, it'll fill up the front one. Nice. need to transfer the concrete. I'm just going to stick it in this front one because it'll handle the rest. And those will passively move themselves along as they need to. And that one's gone. Nice. Stack here. Ah, things are looking so much more organized now. They're all going to one central facility. I can double floor that if I need to. Beautiful. Alright, what are you? Oh, you were the storage for the wire. All right, and then we got to organize this mess. We have four containers down there, which is actually perfect because these can turn into four new things. All right. Cool, it gives you a box of the uh, remaining stuff that didn't fit in your inventory. All right. So this will all be the rods. Take this box. Oh, good. I don't have to worry about deleting inventory, which would be... Uh, a very bad thing to do. This one will have all of our plates. So let's build four towers here. Where those four machines will feed into. Beautiful. All right, production's resuming again, and now we can finally deal with the issue we were having where this mine was producing four times what it could handle. So, we need a constructor to produce the screws. So, we need a double productor constructor thing from that. Oh, we need to make one, two... Three, so we need nine reinforced plates. And then we'll never have to make reinforced plates again, because we're going to have a reinforced plate maker. All right. Why is that backed up? Oh, yeah, it would probably help if I uh, actually connected the uh, conveyor belts all the way through to where they were supposed to go. There we go. 
really can't afford any of that. All right, I'm gonna get another stack of plates then. This one's the plate storage. Yeah, let's get two stacks. We're using a lot of conveyor belt today. Oh, no, nope. gotta be in the direction you want it to actually go, otherwise it'll try going backwards. All right. Now then, we're gonna need an additional power pole down here somewhere. We need some more wire. Find that. The only downside is this place over here is so far from our main base. But I don't see that as too, too much of an issue because it's keeping all these conveyor belts nice and orderly. All right. These constructors are actually a bit wider than everything else, so that's going to be... Uh... Oh, maybe that's why they're wider than everything else. Put it sideways. Yeah, they're still a little bit wider than everything else, but that's fine. Belts first, then the power poles. Another power pole right there. Okay. Oh my god, I never had these producing iron ingots at all. Whoops. This one will make some more iron rods. And this one will make some more iron plates. And actually, we don't need these two. These are actually going to feed into a more complex system, so they're not actually going to get that far. Alright, so this one is now producing rods, which will now make a new constructor to produce screws. up to the power system. There we go. And then we're going to need a conveyor splitter and a merger. Because to make the plates, we need some of the screws, and we also need some of the screws to be produced. And then we are going to have to make our new fancy building that we got at the beginning of the episode, the Assembler. Which requires four rotors. All right, well, crap. All right. Out a little bit. Well, that'll start filling up with screws now. 
Boxes and boxes of screws. Look at all of them. Damn. All right, and then we're actually probably gonna need uh, to steal ourselves. Oh wow, one seven screw. All right, never mind. I'll make it from scratch then. On the plus side, we now should be capable of handling. Yeah, look at that. It is not backed up at all on the iron ore because it's going into each of those machines at the rate it can handle. Except for this one. Why are you having issues? You're just having some source problems, but basically it's equal to what it can handle, so that's perfect. All right. Now then, milestone. Um, sure, let's uh, send off a color gun, because that'll be fun. Nothing else we can research. I'm going to need more materials anyway for this construction stuff. So let's stock up. Uh, we got a stack of cable, that should be good. We got a stack of that. We'll top off our stack of concrete. Get two stacks of that. Another stack of the plates. Yeah, I think we're good on plates. All right. Should be good now. And then the other one will be able to assemble the hardened plates, so we'll never have to make those again. But first, we have to make... How many rotors was it? Let's see. Let's get this thing on our to-do list. Three modular frames, four rotors. All right. Modular frame. So we need three modular frames, which means we need nine reinforced plates. We need five rotors. Okay, yeah. We need the re Oop. nine reinforced plates. Ah, oh, it's so nice that this is the last time we'll ever have to make those. Get rid of that random ore in my inventory. Okay. And then, that's three modular frames. One, two, three. A rotor. Which means we need more screws. So we need to make four rotors. That's enough for that. And now we can make our assembler. All right. This thing's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. All right, so it's two inputs and one output. Splitter is, so it should go right around there. Hook that up to the power pole. Half the screws will go into that. All of these plates that this thing is producing will go into that. And now it's going to make reinforced iron plates for us. Not at a very great rate, but that's fine. I'm actually wondering if we need to... Uh, we might need to do a little bit more optimization, because... No, I guess the plates and screws should be about the same frequency. Is that putting in one screw... Each one of these boxes is a screw. Oh my god, this thing is stack stockpiling screws way faster than it could handle. I wonder if we even need these things. I'm going to take these out. Drop the overclock down to one on them and see if they can handle themselves. No, this one's overloaded. 
That one is not. Okay, so the plates take more. How much power does that take? Damn. You know what? Actually, since we need the screw production to go up, is the screw production limited by iron rods? It is. We need more iron rods coming out. Take the overclock off of that one. You know what? Actually, we have some more slugs, so we'll, let's re-overclock this thing. So that one's overclocking because it needs it. And... That's now overclocking. We need even more... No, our screws are just fine. Like, we're actually producing those really well. We need to overclock the conveyor belt. Like, the conveyor belt just can't handle the massive screws being sent out of it. Hey, we've already made three plates, which I need to actually hook this thing up to a... Bear belt pole. Oop. There we go. Hardened plates coming out. Pretty slow rate, unfortunately. Do we really need this screw being stockpiled? Honestly, I don't know if we need the screws being stockpiled. We have another invalid shape. Back it up a little bit more. There we go. So we'll take all the screws out of here. Take out all the reinforced plates out of here. Now the reinforced plates will go into that thing. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now the screws are going in at a much faster rate. Though not apparently what is needed to keep up with that. This is producing 90 a minute. This is consuming 120 a minute. This is producing 30 a minute. So yeah, the plates are going to back up a little bit. Now the question is, does this conveyor belt handle 90 a minute? Like, I think we're limited on the conveyor belt here. But now we're producing 135 a minute. just stacking up on the machine. Yeah, the conveyor belt only gets like two things out before the next one hits, so there's no reason to overclock this. The conveyor belt itself is our limiting factor, so maybe we'll get faster conveyor belts in the future. Alright, but now our iron, or at least our iron mine is optimized. Our copper and stuff's been doing great. So, uh, let's get some advancements going. Get a color gun. Boosh. How do we make it? Color gun, color cartridge. I think we have a ton of screws in our inventory. Boom. 
paints factory buildings and vehicles. Color can be adjusted prior to painting, and color cartridges require flowers. There's a hundred color cartridges. All right, well, we, now we have an overclocker that we don't have a use for at the moment. But that's fine. Reload it. How do we change the color? Um, oh my god, we have a flashlight. Not that that's been needed, but... Ah, here we go. Ah, look at that. Not a huge number of color options, but we can color code a few things. Like our iron machines can go blue. Oh, I love that. It's a very satisfying, like, paintball sound. Sorry, why aren't you painting? Hmm, weird. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what's up with that one. Boom. <laughs> we can paint the drone. Nice. All right. Well, that's a fun toy. And apparently I've consumed three parachutes. Interesting. Hey, let's go test our parachute. Uh, let's see what else we want to do. Jump pads, walkways... Oh, to get to our next advancement, we need to produce the next tier of stuff. The uh, modular frames, which our reinforced plates now can go into. And our rotors, which we do need a screw storage to make the rotors. Crap. Hmm. Gonna need to create more screws for next time. All right, well, anyway, let's go test a parachute. Let's just quickly look at controls. Activate parachute. I'm assuming it's maybe like double jump or something. Well, let's hope it's double jump. If not, we have to eat a bunch of our berry stock, which I think we can replenish a bit from. That hasn't regrown yet. Let's parachute off the space elevator. There we go. This is perfect. I'm so glad I built this next to it. Really high up to that platform, though. Ah! You just push space again. Oh, look how organized it is. Everything piping into its spots. Oh, that's beautiful. We can get rid of this. 
We actually probably should slide this machine more over so it's not taking up a bunch of extra space. Sorry, I'm a merciless optimizer. Assembler. There we go. Reinforced iron plates, please. Much better. And then we need to repaint. Boop. Love it. Oh. Glad I uh, checked on that. It didn't have power. There we go. small seed of items, but not too big a one. Beautiful. All right. Well, I think that puts us into pretty good shape. Let me queue up a research for next time. I guess we're going to learn jump pads. That'll be a fun one. But, uh, oh yeah, look, it changed all the little uh, machinery stuff. That's cool. Let's get a better color on that. Sorry, I keep doing, like, one more thing, but... Let's do... Did it not? There we go. Nice hot pink for our construction thing. Oh, when I colored the, the probe, it colored the whole base. Ah, that's great. Alright, well, that's cool. So yeah, next time, uh, I think we're going to start shipping some stuff up the space elevator. And now that we have a lot of this stuff automated, it should hopefully be even smoother for us. Um, how are we doing on power? No, no, not, not checking. I'll check power next time. So leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more. We'll see you next time on more Satisfactory.